Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long. And in today's video, we're going to look at, let's say you've got a nice spreadsheet. Maybe you've got something from SA Sam's and you've got all these whole bunch of, of information over here. And it's nice. It's got all your, all the classes for the grade. For example, maybe you're graded on a head of department and you need to take this to a moderation meeting. You need to print it for someone. And when you go to file print, you'll notice that the document is quite difficult to print. It's like, so it, you know that it's going to be over multiple pages. So you can see there's the first page and then there's the second page. So it goes over two pages, but there are more pages. It's almost like it's made it into a puzzle. Now you have to sit and piece all these pieces together when you go to moderation. And that's quite, a, quite annoying. So how do I get this in a better format? Well, the first thing I do is I look at this little part of the bottom here, the show margins. This is the first thing that I look at and I see if I can change these margins. When I click on that button, all these little bubbles appear. Now I try to adjust the edge ones, the second ones from the end. Just adjust them a little bit. Don't go all the way to the edge. You need some, some edging for the printer. But I just adjust the margins a little bit just so that I can see if I can fit it all in this way. Sometimes if you do this, you can do enough to fit in a couple of extra stuff on the side. And at the bottom so you can do that this is a bit right at the bottom yeah so we want to maybe make that a bit up a bit but playing around with the margins you can also change the margins um, by setting numbers but this way you can visually see where you want the margins to be so i've done the margins and you can see with this document it still hasn't it doesn't done, done enough i've still got all the stuff on the side sometimes you might have a spreadsheet where you have enough records to fit going down you'll see that maybe the spreadsheet ends here but some of the fields are still on the right hand side then you can just change the orientation to landscape and sometimes that will make a difference but in this case we've got a lot of pages going down which is fine we just don't want them to also go across to all this stuff so i want this and i want this but i don't want the stuff on the side I, I want those values but i don't want to have to have it on a separate page so the thing i do is i look okay so i've definitely got one page at the top and i keep going down and so these this will fit over two pages you can see one two um, maybe your document will be over three now this is what we call how tall the page is up and down and then the pages on the side this will say okay this is one more page on the side and this will go down and you'll see how many pages across that it goes um, so I, I can definitely see that there's two pages down. So I'm going to come here to this page setup option over here. When I click on page setup, it gives me these lovely options here where I can say, hey, adjust to 100% normal size, which is what it is at the moment. Um, I can fit it to one page by one page tall. That's if you want it all on one page. But that in the, with this example, it might be quite quite stressful look look it's all squished into one it might be very small maybe that's what you want you maybe want to fit everything to one page that is also an option but it maybe i want to go hey you know it's i actually don't want to fit to one page i know that i want it to be two pages tall because it's spread over two pages but i only want it to be one page wide please and by doing that i can fit everything you'll see now it's only two pages it's only one page two page but it, it fits everything that was on the right hand side. It managed to fit it all inside. Yeah, it made everything smaller, but it fitted it in. And now I'm still going down one page, but it's all, it's just, it's one page after it. It's like a continuous spreadsheet that follows on. So there we go. So there I've made my life a lot nicer. Another thing that you can do is like this little part of the top. If I look at this, this part, if you look at your spreadsheet, yeah, we've got all the marks and the locations. And when I go to my second page, I don't have any of that information at the top. Because, uh, because because that's obviously on the first page. But what happens if I want all these headings to also be at the top of the second page or the third page and so on? So that you can do. And the problem is if I come here to page setup and I go through these options over here, margins, there's where we can also set the margins. You can also, by the way, just a side note, you can also center it vertically and horizontally. So it fits in. Maybe you've got a nice little uh, page, for example, spreadsheet, and it fits right to the top here, but you want it more in the middle over here then you can change those settings over here by the margins by the vertical and, and uh, horizontal um header and footer if you want to put header and footers you can put in there but this is the sheet i want us to look at rows to repeat at the top i want to repeat those at the top but you'll notice i can't actually click on here i can't do anything over here it's not allowing me to do that because you can't set these settings in this part of the spreadsheet you actually have to go out of the print settings and you have to go up here to page layout. So we go to page layout. You see, here are the page setup options as well. And if I click on this little 
well, the part here, which allows me to expand the dialog over here. I get the exact same options that I had before. But now, this rows to repeat, I can access. So now when I click on rows to repeat, I'm just going to click on this little part here, and it'll take me back to the spreadsheet and go, hey, just drag your mouse over the rows that you want to repeat at the top. You go, I actually want these rows to repeat. So if you want all of them, you can select all of them. If you just want maybe row 9 and 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 5 to 9, for example, you could just do that. Or 4 to 9, you could just do that. So this would all be on the first page. But on the second page onwards, it would just go from 4 to 9. If you just selected like these little ones there. I think 5 to 9 you can do. There we go. So the 5 to 9 would just do that. You didn't have to type anything in there. I'm actually going to select everything. I'm going to say, hey, you know what? I want rows 1 to 9. I want all of that at the top of every page. Click over there, boom, and that's what it's going to set. And if you've got, for example, maybe you've got multiple um, pages going to the right and you want to keep the names on the left of each of those pages, you can do the exact same thing with columns to repeat at the left. So if you've got a sheet that's going to be printing across multiple pages to the side, then you might want to do the same to these, for example, these columns so that you've always got the names to the left hand side of every sheet so those are your options so let's see what it looks like i'm gonna click okay and let's go back to file print now that we've set it so there to the top of the page but if i go to the second page you notice that's at the top of the second page there we go so now i've got that all nicely repeated at the top of every page that i have and so by doing these little changes you can actually get your document to print in a better format it's always a good idea to check what it's going to look like before you print um, and you can do these modifications over there to make sure that you get exactly what you want to, to print so that you don't waste paper. So I hope this has been useful. For more teacher tips, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what videos you want us to make. Maybe there's some tips that we can help you with. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.